How do you prepare for each uh, for each performance? Uh, you know, uh, just a lot of practicing. Uh, you know, a lot of you know singing in the hotel room at late night, early in the morning, probably annoying the crap out of the people next to me. Um, you know, uh, until they know who it really is, yeah, until, and then everything's yeah. okay. They're probably like, "Oh my God, who is that?" <laughs> I'm like, "Sorry, but um, no complaints yet." Um, secretly, they're probably cussing me out in their heads, but you know, <laughs> it is what it is. Um, <laughs> Uh, you know, just preparing, you know, just a lot of practicing. I try to, you know, uh, study the lyrics and just kind of make it, uh, try to find something to relate it to. Uh, so I'm able to, you know, connect with it emotionally. And, um, you know, that's about it. Just praying, practicing, and um, connecting. Okay, yeah. cool. One thing that I love, aside from your voice, obviously, one thing that I love is when you do your little something and you, like, raise your pitch, but you have this hand motion that I wish I could do it, but I probably just butchered it in front of America. <laughs> know so, what I'm doing doing half the time it just happens I'm like <laughs> but but yeah no it's like you're you're controlling your pitch like that's that's what I see when you're doing it but I just love it so what what goes through your mind when you're performing when, when I'm performing I'm you know really focused on the emotional connection rather than rather than you know the the lights and stuff uh, one thing I, I want to the, you know the spectrum I want to go towards you know I want to be the singer that you know when you cut down the lights and cut down the dancers and you know the background vocals and the lights and the stage and the production and everything that when it's just you know the voice and the music that there's still something there you know there's still the emotional and moving thing there so um, you know that's something I really try to do so when I sing uh, I, really, I really pull from my heart as deep as I can and you know just let it all out you know just let it purge on the stage uh, and then you know, I know sometimes I get a little bit lost in my own world, and sometimes I get a little, some comments, you know, about it. Um, but you know, that's just it's just it just happens. Um, but one thing I'm trying to do is, you know, not get lost, just so get lost in my own world, but to invite to invite everyone yeah, else into the world with me. You know, yeah, we can yeah, we can have a little road trip. You know, road trip to Carlos Andia or something. <laughs> but yeah, uh, you know, I just I just get so into it, and so you know, like once I'm on stage, it's just. It just happens. It's a different person. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's just weird. <laughs> now, today's performance, I'm sure you had a lot of music to choose from. Why did you choose this song in particular? You know, uh, Marvin Gaye is one of the most known Motown singers. You know, and when I'm choosing a song, it's a little bit of everybody's input, you know. And um, I thought, I, I kind of like the words. You know, and I, I like the meaning, you know, what's going on, what's going on. Because, you know, he wrote it during a time in his life where you know, he was just kind of like looking around at the world and yeah. what's going on with like wars and stuff. You know, Marvin Gaye sat down, you know, he wrote a song and he's like, what's up? You know, what's going on? Why, why are people so crazy? You know, and so I felt like I was able to relate to it and um, just think about, you know, uh, events that have happened, you know, recently and things like that, that that shouldn't be happening and that could be prevented. And I was able to, you know, channel the energy and just be like when I was singing, you know, what's what's going on? And I know that some people, I know sometimes I, I'm, I might not be, you know, as vocally accurate and stuff, but I, I'm working on that and I think that, you know, if people keep on keep on voting for me, I think I can perfect that too, but I can definitely say 100%, you know, when I get on that stage, I put all my heart and soul on it, and I leave it there. And you definitely see it. Yeah, thank you, you so much. So we, we look forward to seeing you hopefully again next week. Yeah, hopefully next week and many more to come. All right, well, thanks for hanging out with me. It's a pleasure. Thank you.